All right, guys, and welcome back for a new review. Today, we're going to take a look at a little something different. We're going to look at some of the extreme sets. Uh, I picked up a new one. So they have this uh, little pamphlet that comes with it. Shows you some of the other sets that you can pick up. Uh, most of them are 112 scale. The one I picked up today is a 1 6 scale. It's pretty much meant for the uh, Detolf. Uh, these wolves are those right there that I display my figures with. So these are meant for that. I just really wanted it for the photography mostly. Um, I did take a look last year at the uh, deranged alley set. Uh, it's cool because you can just put it away in the box, put it to the side, and it's you know it doesn't clutter up your place. So that's a nice feature. Um, this time I, I picked up the control panel, uh, control room, uh, but it did come with some extra stuff. So this was also in the box. This wasn't really pictured. So again, I picked up the 112 scale version of this orange control room setup. Uh, it's really kind of aimed at the uh, Transformers and not really a Transformers guy. So. Uh, I actually had an intent to use it for mostly like adventure team photos, but uh, it did come with these two extra panels. Um, I think these might be a 1 6, I mean a 1 12 scale setup, but I could be wrong. Uh, I think they threw this in as a bonus, as well as this piece here. Uh, the main section of what I ordered, I'm guessing, is going to be in here, as in the slip cover. Uh, yeah, there's a little window panel where you can kind of see the orange control room set up. So this is uh, known as a display pack 2. I actually expected this to be number 3. But anyway, let's see if I got the right thing or I didn't. There's a possibility they might have mixed up my order. I think they got it right yeah looks looks about right to me so um, this is the main control panel I got the, a lot of computer screens and you know launch written on there system go so, like I said I figured this go pretty well as like a, a headquarters for the adventure team for a nice uh, photo shoot so that's pretty cool that's the first panel there's the second. The colors are very vibrant. Pretty cool detail. This absolutely got like an underground base kind of look. Again, I think this was aimed at the Transformers. I'm pretty sure it was, but not what I'm going to be using it for. Right, here's another one. A lot of computer screens. Got a world map on there schematics of a building and then an overview of a uh, round area pretty cool and then the last one is this very large window looks like it's looking into uh, some kind of under under the ocean kind of scene pretty cool and it also comes with the floor panels as well I think these are probably all the same or pretty similar so these are just some floor panels that you can use to add to the, uh, the effect. Yep, pretty much all the same. So I'm going to take a cut here and set it up for you. Alright, so here's like the bonus section that I, uh, I got with this set. It's basically just the purple wolf. I did throw in a couple of the yarn floor panels just to uh, show what it's like. Uh, it came with this uh, cardboard control panel that you fold together. Uh, you can see it's got a blank spot there. That's where it's meant to sit. And this set, again, it does pretty much look like it's aimed at the 112 scale. So here's a Punisher figure. Show you him at the panel. It makes sense uh, for a, a 112 scale or a 6-inch tall figure to fit with this particular setup. 
Again, the other one is, was more uh, aimed at the 12-inch uh, figures. You can see with a 12-inch figure, um, doesn't quite work as well. You can fudge it, but it's really not what it's meant for. So uh, let's go ahead and uh, set up the rest of it. Okay, so here is the direct purpose of the set. The specific set, it's meant to go into a D12 uh, cabinet. So you get the floor panel and the back panel. So that gives you your diorama style look. You can kind of zoom in on the detail. Pretty cool looking set. And of course you get one for each of the four tiers of the detour so you can put in your you know figures whether it's transformers or whatever you're going to use them for um, for your display pretty cool looking you know i like it i'm going to use it for the photography and of course you could use side panels you don't have to use them in a detour but that's what the uh, the main intent is for display so it's uh, pretty cool, I'll show you some more of them as we go through. Okay, here's the uh, the other panel. And again, you know, you could use this uh, in a lot of different ways. You could jazz it up, you know, with the accessories. You can kind of set the uh, tone for your photography and for your setups or for your display. All depends on how you want to use it. And pulling that out the next one is this piece here so that's like another control room or something like that so you can use that for again for your adventure team see the panels are, are aimed at the uh, the one six scale so that's pretty cool and the last one is another control panel room. And again, that's, I believe, the name of this set, the control room. So that's a look at the last one. You could use this again, transformers, six scale figures. You know, it's really up to your imagination what you really want to use it for. But uh, that's it, guys. Wanted to give you a quick look at that. I uh, hope you enjoyed. Stay tuned at the end for some uh, photos. Thanks for watching.